Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the very best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report. And it's made possible by the exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. Welcome to RBDR episode number 50 in our series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. Last month, the New York Times ran a business section feature article which said the future of TV advertising could be, quote, fast, cheap, minimalist, end of quote. And it further stated that, quote, more companies are demanding proof that TV commercials actually work. And this was taking place as COVID-19 was initially sweeping the nation. We read it, weren't sure what to think of it. So we asked our industry-wide respected media researcher, Bill Harvey, of Research Measurement Technologies to give his comment on the article. And we hear today what he thinks, which he delivers with something of a doubting tone. Bill? Audience, you, uh, Bob had asked me to respond to a, an article in uh, a very uh, excellent publication by a great writer. It was well-written. Um, and it was about uh, the need for proof. The advertisers are demanding proof now from television that television really works and questioning whether big budget television commercials are gonna continue in the future or if there's gonna be a move to using the same kind of production techniques that are now working during COVID um, that are less expensive, whether that's going to be one of the things that we retain. And I found some things to, um, to try to correct about the article, at least from my own point of view, my own opinion. First of all, the need for proof has never been as great as it is now. Uh, I've said that in my own article, so I totally agree with the writer in perceiving that that's the mood of the day and it's, it's been uh, the appropriate mood all along, even before COVID. But it's not just being aimed at television. It isn't just prove it to me television that you work. It's, it's, it covers all media. In fact, from the article, from the context, it seemed as if YouTube was being held up as an example of something that where proof is being provided and isn't needed. That's quite the opposite of the, of the real truth. Um, in, in the case of the Walled Gardens, the proof that's being offered is being offered by the interested seller uh, as opposed by a disinterested third party. So television, which has always been committed to third party measurement is actually comes at, comes out ahead in that comparison against the walled gardens. But all, all media are measurable in terms of ROI. There's, it isn't just connected TV. It's not just OTT TV. It's not just addressable TV. It's not just data driven TV, all of TV. I mean, that's what TRA did. That's what Nielsen Catalina does. You can measure the sales effect. You can certainly measure the branding effect. We've been doing that for over a half a century. And advertisers have been demanding proof that the TV commercials work for over half a century. In fact, they used to do more pre-testing than they're doing now, although they're continuing, thankfully, to, to do tracking. So uh, some things were right and some things were wrong about the article. In terms of the more interesting point about what's the cost of a TV commercial and how does that relate to its business outcomes and its value. It's a more, interest, more interesting question to me um, because in some cases you don't need big budgets in order to get a big efficacy. Some examples would be uh, uh, when you're announcing a price cut, when it's promotional advertising designed to activate on a deal. Yeah, you can create those by formula, those ads, and they can be very inexpensive. <clears throat> uh, but when, what about emotional commercials? What about when you're trying to restore the health of a brand where the brand has uh, had some bad PR lately? Well, what about when you're trying to get um, a new brand launched that uh, you have to overcome the resistance to trial? Are, are we going to try to put everything in one pigeonhole? It, it doesn't apply. Um, I don't think the big budget TV commercials are going to go away. There was also um, a question in the article about whether the advertising during COVID was doing any good. And I just yesterday got a report from Stephen Millman at Dynata of a six country study, which verifies that the 
uh, the audience overwhelmingly appreciated the fact that COVID was being mentioned and that companies were saying the right things emotionally from a morale point of view and an inspiration and courage point of view and calling attention to heroism. All of those things have been appreciated, not just in the US, but in England, in the Netherlands, France, et cetera. Um, so advertising, particularly television advertising, served us well during the COVID so far. The success of this series is really dependent on the thoughts of people like Bill Harvey and you. And so we'd like to know what you think and what you've observed about research during this COVID-19 crisis. And if you can please email your impressions and feelings to rflbob at gmail.com, we'll take those perspectives and transform them into a video commentary like the one you view today. And believe me, you're going to find it not only an enjoyable experience, but when it's done, you'll have a video output that will put a smile on your face. That's your Research Business Daily Report. If you haven't so far made it a habit to watch RBDR every day, well, please do. For those of you who have decided to check in every day to see what we're talking about, we thank you. And if you find that RBDR is time well spent, well, please recommend our video to your friends and peers. And we hope that you will also consider becoming a Patreon supporter of our videos, which you can do by visiting patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Have a great research day, and we will see you back here tomorrow.